All right, guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do on page SEO. And uh, to make sure that our page is completely optimized for Google, we got to make sure that our keyword is used correctly inside of each post, which includes uh, putting our keyword inside the domain name, which I'll show you how to do here in a second. And then um, we're going to also go over how to use our keyword in each post. This specific post I got from Clint's Moneybox, so it's already optimized for the keyword silver rounds, and I'm just using it here as an example. So to get started, let's go ahead and uh, change the domain name format so that our keyword shows up every time we uh, create a new post. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and log into our dashboard. We're going to go down to settings, click on permalinks. Under common settings, you'll see um, the bubbles. Go ahead and go down to post name and check that bubble. Now, whenever we create a title for our post, it will show up as the post name and will also show up in the um, domain name. And this is something that we only have to do one time. So once you check this bubble and save changes, you'll never have to come back to this again. And it will automatically set up each post so that your uh, keyword will show up in the domain. So next, I'm going to go up to posts. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on edit for the post that's optimized. Okay, and then once I'm here, I'm going to have to change my permalink for this post, uh, only because I changed the permalink settings after I created this post. And you're going to have to do the same thing with the pages that we created earlier, um, so that your page name will be at the end of the permalink. So we're just going to go ahead and copy the title of the page or the post. I'm going to click on edit next to the permalink and I'm going to change the end of the permalink to the title of the post and click on OK. Now that's going to be done for us automatically each time we create a post so you won't have to worry about doing that again. So let's go ahead and look at the on-page SEO that we have for this post. If you look at the title of the post you'll see that we have our target keyword in the title. Um, I also have an LSI keyword in the title. Um, I don't think that matters too much. Just make sure that you have your target keyword somewhere in the title. Um, now we have our target keyword in the domain name. So we're good there. And uh, if you scroll down, all the way down to the very bottom of the post, you'll see that the word count for this specific post is 414 words. You want to make sure that you have over 300 words for each post. And for every 100 words that you have in your post, you want to make sure you have one target keyword. That will put us at a 1% um, keyword density. And you want to make sure your keyword density stays in between 1% and 4%. So always just remember, for every 100 words, make sure you have at least one target keyword. If your keyword density is over 4%, Google may penalize you just for overstuffing that keyword into the post. Um, next, you want to make sure that you have your keyword in an H1 heading. You want to make sure you have your keyword in an H2 heading and an H3 heading. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this post, you'll see that I also have it um, at the very end of this post in an H3 heading. You want to make sure that you have your keyword in the very first sentence of the post and you want to make sure you have the keyword in the very last sentence of the post. You're going to want to make the target keyword bold in the first sentence of the post. And next we want to make sure that we have an image in our post with the alternate text as our target keyword. So I've inserted an image down here at the bottom of the post and if I click on the edit image icon in the top corner of the image it'll bring us to our image settings page and you'll see for the title of our image I have it set to our target keyword and for the alternate text of the image I have it also set to our um, our target keyword so the most important thing is that your alternate text is set to your target keyword and then I'm gonna go ahead and click update and now you want to make sure that you have an internal link inside of your post somewhere. And that just means that you're linking one of these uh, keywords or something inside of your post 
to another page um, on your for example I have my name down here at the bottom of the post linked to my about me page of this blog so I'm just gonna highlight my name and I'm gonna go to the very top and I'm gonna click on link and I'm gonna link that to my about me page And next, we're going to go ahead and put this post into a category. So if you look over here to the right, you'll see the categories section. Um, make sure that you create a category that is a generic term related to the target keyword on this post. So investing is a broad term that I can add uh, more posts to later. And uh, it's closely related to silver rounds. So we're going to go ahead and use investing. If you want to add a category, you just simply click on the add new category button below this box. And you can create a new category that way. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see the tags box. Make sure you put your target keyword and at least four other LSI keywords separated by commas into this box. Um, and make sure those four LSI keywords show up in your post at least one time. And um, you want at least four LSI keywords. Again, you can have as many as you want. Robots Meta is set to index and follow. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see the all-in-one SEO pack. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call the title of this post the same title that we have for the actual post. So copy that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and insert that into the title. And for the description, you want to make sure that you have your target keyword uh, in the first sentence of your description. And you can also insert a um, LSI keyword. So. For example, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the silver rounds as the main target keyword and I'm going to use invest in silver as my LSI keyword for the description. Okay, make sure that your uh, description is up to 160 characters because this is um, the maximum amount of characters that the search engine is going to show. And for the keywords, make sure you enter your main keyword and all of your LSI keywords that we entered into the um, tags box up here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert all of those here. Okay, and then you want to go up and make sure you update your post. Make sure you always click the update your post, and this is just like saving your post um, to your website. So don't ever forget to update your post. And that is all you need to know for on-page SEO. So um, there are a couple more tweaks that we can make to our posts, and I'll go over those later on. But for now, uh, just focus on the stuff in this video, and that will put you above uh, 95% of those other bloggers out there. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next lesson.